I was gonna type a reply about the music being jamming, but that's... I, I made that a while ago in GarageBand. Yay. Um, well, welcome on in Raiders. My name is Saku or Saku or just Q is acceptable for those of you that don't already know me. I consider myself a variety streamer, though I do stream mostly visual novels, such as what we are currently playing tonight, which is the final stream for Taisho, Alice, Heads and Tails, Nihongo de Oke. Jesus. Now I won't be able to understand you. Mm -hmm. And we have to read again. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I, I know like hi and no. So those are ones that I know. <laughs> PT I will get there one day. Nihongo chose you. No, like, that's, that's like a next year goal is like, hey, I should probably learn some Japanese so I can actually play these Japanese games I bought. Nihongo ben shimasu. Whatever you said, yes. <laughs> you could have just insulted me and I would not know the difference. <laughs> Baka. Okay, I know that one. <laughs> I've watched a anime. <laughs> hey, you can make them speak only Japanese for 800 points. Hmm. Mm. Well, one of us. One of us doesn't happen to know <laughs> Japanese. Like I did a couple classes on Duolingo, and I had like a like a hundred day streak, and I just kind of dropped it. I was like, "Fuck." Yeah, I need all. Well, while we're waiting, mm -hmm. I'm Relics. I'm a bird. Mm -hmm. You can see my cute little picture down there. Tordy this. And we've been playing Taisho X Alice Heads or well, not Heads or Tails, the entire series for like the better part of a year now, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. And we're on the final boy. <laughs> Hi. Maka. <laughs> Maka. <laughs> See, I know the fun words. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I know this one. It's a meme. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> it's that one, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> 
Uh, it's been the three minutes. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> you, you're making me consider upping the price of that, Nero. Hmm. You should. 800 way too low. Even, like, Sing Song on my channel is, like, minimum 1,000. Could go higher. We'll see. <laughs> to be fair, people haven't really redeemed it that often, so... <laughs> I know, but I also just refunded everybody's points, because I was like, fuck it. <laughs> Buddy. So, like... <laughs> <laughs> the last couple months of redeems, I'm just like, you know what, fuck it, I'm not gonna go through all these, just refund all of it. <laughs> Fair enough. Ugh. We got time for the final boy, yippee! Oh yeah, uh, Nero, if you do need to do any streamer aftercare stuff and the rest of your raiders, if you need to step aside to go eat food, drink water, go to the bathroom, whatever you gotta do, go eat. You gotta yeah. go eat, sleep, or piss. Yep. Any of the above. Yep. You make everyone hydro check, you're the reason they have limits. You're the hydro check Archon. And you haven't you redeemed have to, it yet. That's why you have to put a timer on it, because people do that. <laughs> I think it's funny when Tez will, like, flood the chat with hydrate redeem, oh, so I'm probably never gonna do that. But anyways... Yeah, take care of yourselves, readers, but without further ado, we have a boy. The final And boy. last time, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Ma yep. Doesn't matter, because we're on a new boy, new day. Last boy. The final boy. The final boy. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're starting off strong with a very hard-hitting question. <laughs> hey, Alice, what do you like about me? Huh? Excuse me. <laughs> I like the actual sound you made. Huh? I love ha? that. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean, huh? <laughs> you heard me. What is it about me that you like? Can you hear the people talking in my background? Yes. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Shut the fuck No, I'm not gonna do that. Hey guys. Yeah, you're picking up on my mic. Yeah. S settle down a little bit, thank you. Yeah, yeah Bye chat, I'll be annoying in chat once I'm home. <laughs> Yes. Peachy, get out of here. Your yes. time oh, slot's Alice Thursday. Oh, scrungly scrimblow. I love him so much. I want to pat him on the head so bad. <laughs> Peachy can't hear you. He looks unfortunately. <laughs> I know. It would be great, though. Okay, Your time go slot's home Thursday. Now. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Fun times. Fun times. Time <laughs> Drive recklessly. Don't drive recklessly. Do the opposite. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, I already forgot if you read that. Be safe about it, but be reckless. Um. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay. Good grief. Grr. He's refusing to answer. Okay then. Different question. We're officially a couple now, right? Hey. Huh? And what is it that couples do together? Son. Beats me. <laughs> Damn. He really is clueless. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You got this. This girl's a walking thesaurus and I hate her. <laughs> Okay, here's a hint. What's another name for Hello Stoma Timinki? 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 Fuck this word. I wouldn't have done much better, I'll be honest. <laughs> Gorami, what do you ask? Why do they know so much? Where did they get their knowledge? Because they're both brainiacs. They're nerds. They're two nerds that fell in love with each other. <laughs> You're right. But I'm guessing that wasn't the answer she wanted. <laughs> Probably not. 
Oh, we're go we're diving straight into the wizard shit. Damn. Fuck. <laughs> What's going I thought there was gonna be more build up. I thought so too. <laughs> Damn. Instant wizard. <laughs> What's got you down, little heroine? It's not like you to mope. Mr. Wizard. Yeah. Hello there. Long time no see. I was just passing by when I noticed you having a hard time. I could lend an ear if you'd like. Right when I finally get to spend eternity with Alice, he refuses to tell me that he loves me! Mm. Gee, that sucks. That does suck indeed, wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Do you actually care or not? He offered to lend an ear not to care about the issue. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's... <laughs> A completely different thing. Like, mm, <laughs> yes, I'm listening. Don't expect me to give a shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And of course, I, I was just sympathizing with you. You're saying you want him to tell you he loves you, yes. That's part of it, yeah. You want to do mushy stuff? Aww. Yes! <laughs> I appreciate your honesty, but I'm not sure Alice is that sort of guy. He isn't. Nope. I know, but I can fix him! <laughs> I know, but I want some kind of proof that he cares. You sound like Kaguya. <laughs> I think it's because I'm so insecure that it makes me question his feelings for me. Why is that? You know the whole truth, don't you? I mean... Ah, so Yes, I do. I know everything there is to know when I remember it all. Oh, he's gonna... She's gonna try and indirectly ask Wizard. Probably. About, hey, how does Alice feel about me? Or how did Alice feel back then? Mm-hmm. Well... Can you tell me how Alice feels about me? That I cannot, because I'm not him. Yeah, think of it more like a history book. He's writing down, like, stuff that happened, mm -hmm. but he's not going to tell you how someone feels, because yep. that's not factual. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. See, I've always questioned it. I ask myself, am I sure Alice loves me and not the version of me he met as a kid? Thus far, he's met countless versions of me and he's helped them all. But he didn't help me because of who I am as a person. He did it because he made a promise to me when I was little. No, that's not it. Even without that promise, a nice guy like Alice would have probably helped me regardless. But the fact remains, I'm not the real Reiku Arasu. I'm just Arasu, her pawn. Alice agreed to stay with me, but I'm not sure it's what he really wanted. Somebody. So, in summary, you're concerned that Alice might be a pedophile. <laughs> I'm not gonna give him crap, that's totally the line I would've pulled out. I was just like, oh yeah, so you think he's in the children. <laughs> uh, I love that they actually translated Lolicon to pedophile. <laughs> what are they not? I mean, I feel like a lot of people like to pretend that being a Lolicon isn't being a pedophile, so there is that. Yeah, the Definitely, there's a lot of people out there like the holy Yeah, area. so good to know that the translation team is not of that camp. No, not like that. It's a... maybe kinda? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, girl, what are you saying? Admittedly, you do look quite different compared to your childhood self. Not now I'm starting to see where A gets into B. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was like, wait, why is Wizard just like, you know what, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. You're a kid now. 
Incidentally, have you broached the subject with Alice directly? Bro, you know both of them. You know they don't do direct <laughs> conversations. <laughs> Actually, yes! In my weird form of directness, which is not at all. You have? What did he say? Hi, Nigiri. Welcome on in. Mama Dayo? Yep, that's what he said. Mama Dayo? Mama Dayo? <laughs> he has said, I admit I was in love with your younger self, but make no mistake, I love the present in you too. Something like that. What is handhold? It means handholding. Duh. You get to hold of my hand. <gasps> hold, handhold? Then why is it so many petals? Because the idea came from a marriage. Redeem. I'll be honest. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, shit. Yeah, that is a lot of petals. Holy crap. Yep. So I, I have a hundred. I think I have one one hundredth of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you, it's expensive to have the right to hold my hand, unfortunately. Damn. I wonder what your dinner dates are like. Ugh. <laughs> 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 uh. So, he here's the cost for food, and then the 100 mil for hand holding. <laughs> <laughs> no, then, you have your answer. Are you still unsatisfied? Yes, because it's not the answer she wanted. <laughs> I wouldn't say unsatisfied, just scared. Or maybe I'm just jealous because I'm not Reiki Arvisu? I mean, I am partly her, so I have memories of when she met Alice. But the girl he met was Riku Arasu, not me. You may as well be one millionaire, right? I mean, in this economy, yeah. Mm -hmm. The only memories Alice has with me take place in the Looking Glass world. And that shit's fake as hell! <laughs> Memories, hmm? Well, I know a good way to test which version of you he loves the most. <laughs> you do? What is it? I'll do anything! Very well then. Close your eyes. Okay. I swear if he bibbity bobbity boos this shit. <laughs> I wonder what this test involves. I'm excited. Kodomo is child in Japanese. And then kinder child, obviously. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then bambini small. <laughs> Well, oh, so silly. I'll do it. Yeah, Kinder Child, Bambini. Have fun saying that. <laughs> I'm probably not going to deliver it exactly the same, but I will do, do my it. best. Do it. <laughs> Please, I beg you, oh dear. <clears throat> Cold on, more, cold more, kinder child bambini. Now, open your eyes. You did it. Good <laughs> job. Oh my god, tiny. Baby. Small. Babyification. What do you think? About what? Wait, I feel like my line of sight got lower? Because it did. And everything seems a lot bigger than before. Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, you got really big, Mr. Wizard. <laughs> Doctor, you're huge. <laughs> Glad you got back on your desktop just in time for that, Spooky. <laughs> no, you got smaller. Huh? Wait, what? What? Did you turn me into a kid again? 
Bingo! Using my powers, I have given you the appearance of a child! <laughs> it's... Oh wait, Nick, you know what? Why don't you remind Nagiri what the magic words were? <laughs> you mean the Koldemo Koldemo Kinder Child Bambini! Yeah, there you go. Yep. You're welcome, Nagiri. <laughs> <laughs> Nande! Why? I am the wizard. Here in the looking glass world, there's nothing I cannot do. I must say, you're cute as a button, aren't you? Upsy daisy! <laughs> oh my god, tiny. <laughs> ah! Too high! Scary! Put me down! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I thought you were gonna kill me! Punts her into the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, if you go to him under that guise, you'll be able to learn how he feels about the adult you. He's gonna drag your ass back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Got it! I love that she's just on board with this plan. She's like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm back in the single digits. Yep, he did say guys. Yeah, because of the disguise. Alice! Where are you? Alice! Uh, I've walked all over the place, but I just can't find him. Where am I? I'm so tired. Wait a minute. I'm practically in the same place as I started. Yep, that comes with the that comes with the being small and can't see where you're going. Yep. Oh right. As a kid, my legs are shorter and I have less stamina. Now that's something I didn't stop to consider. It turns out smaller bodies have limited function. Kids do Kids be do small. Be small. <laughs> <laughs> Plus my limbs are stubby and my Voice is all high pitched. That's how the kids do. So true. Wait a minute! I might be totally adorable. Don't worry, cute. Please. She just put that together. Goddamn. <laughs> mirror. I need a mirror. Here we go. Gosh, I am smaller, and I'm wearing the dress I loved as a little girl. <laughs> I bet Alice will crap his pants when he sees me. Do you want him to? That's a little weird, Ray Q. I was gonna say, there's only room for one baby right now. <laughs> I wonder if he'll say I'm cute. Then again, it is Alice I'm talking about. Yeah, he's probably gonna say you're gross. It's probably gonna be like, oh no, it's a snot nosed little child. I did to like pick her up and hold him away, hold her away from him. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, I want to find him. Alice! Wait, there you are! Good grief. Where the hell did she run off to? Is she really so childish as to throw a fit over that? Alice, hold that thought for a minute. <laughs> I mean, she can't expect me to drop the L word left and right. And if you use a phrase, that's... Well, it's best reserved for special moments. No. Aw, he is a bit of a romantic. Mm hmm Alice! Alice! In that voice. <laughs> Good grief. Did you finally finish your little game of hide and seek? Quit sulking over nothing and worship me. Revere me. Serve me. Only then will I reward you with the answer to your. He's such a fucking idiot. <laughs> She's not here! Damn it, you. Are you messing with me, Arisu? Where are you? Quit hiding and gout here already. <laughs> Take the win. You're, already, you're taller than her for the first time. <laughs> Hey! Down here! 
Down where? There are many creatures lower than my line of sight, but the girl who constantly towers over me is certainly not one of them. <laughs> How is? <gasps> this whole gasp is perfect. <laughs> uh, love it. I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's fair. We made you read the other one. <laughs> he hugged me. He looks even happier than I was expecting. He's probably just happy to see you. Maybe. Again, yeah. honestly. <laughs> or he's finally, or he's like, yes, I'm finally taller than this bitch. <laughs> we'll find out. I think this might be the happiest I've ever seen him. Your little, little Larisu. No excess height or bust or ego. Everything about you is cute again. Alice. Oh. Alice. You, you might want to hold that thought, buddy. <laughs> can't breathe. No, sorry. You're just so adorable that I couldn't resist. So adorable that I couldn't resist? Hello, police? <laughs> That's the kind of thing you never say to me! You think I'm adorable? You bet you are. Cute, charming, and so very lovely. Who are you? And what have you done with my Alice? Good question. Wow. His attitude is like night and day. No, this is how he is. Yeah. I guess adult me loses on all counts. Hmm. What? What's the deer in headlights look? You're gonna make her cry, you bitch. Probably. Oh, uh, nothing. For starters, I should tell him it's a magic spell. Listen, Alice. So tell me, little Arisu, what are you doing here? That reminds me, I still haven't found Big Arisu. Uh, I am Big Arisu. Excuse me? I mean, uh, Big Arisu? N never heard of her. Thank you. Good. Try to keep it that way. You don't want that goddamn thirsty nymph or slut corrupting your innocence. If you see her, cover your eyes. <laughs> oh god, Alice, no. <laughs> this is coming off so wrong. Alice, please. It is. To be fair, he doesn't know. Yeah. Like, she tried to say, like, hey, it's actually me. He's just like, no, you're not. Fuck, no. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, he doesn't know about, like, why she's doing this. Yeah. So. I'm gonna cut him some slack, but if he hangs himself, that's on him. Yeah. Wow, harsh. I guess Alice thinks this kid version of me is an entirely separate entity from regular me. I would assume that, too. Yeah. Trust me, you don't want to grow up. Just stay little forever. You're much cuter that way. Alice, please. This is coming off so mm. wrong. One second, I think I see the bisexual lighting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> woo -woo! Um, aren't you surprised to see me? Why would I be? Because? And there's something strange about running into little artists here. This is the looking glass world, remember? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. He knows it's all smoke and mirrors. Mm -hmm. I think it can happen, whether it's a giant mouse that in shadows of town or a tiny elephant tap dancing on my palm. <gasps> I want to see that. Same. Uh, really? So, what world are you from? Are you lost? Surely you are. Yes, you must be. Good grief, you hopeless cutie. You leave me no choice. You shall be escorted home by none other than Big Brother Alice, the hottest, sweetest, most caring man in the world. 
<laughs> and now we know why it took them so long to get back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. The big brother Alice. He told me things I'm from some other world. I mean, you haven't clarified otherwise yet. True. I guess that's fair. Seeing as there's so many versions of me out there. Oopsie daisy. Aww. Oh, Alice! What's wrong? Did you want a piggyback ride instead? Aww. No? He picked me up! Wow! This is the first! To be fair, he is scrawny. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, I must say, I prefer you at this size. You're so light, I can carry you in all sorts of ways, even bridal style. Buddy. <sighs> like, I'm pretty sure in his mind, it's like, ah yes, I can finally be the older brother figure I've always wanted to be type thing. But like, Yeah, it's... of course. And he is right, it <laughs> is more convenient, she's small, I can actually carry you, wow. But, like, this is... Wow, she's tiny, I can put her in my carry-on. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> bridal style! I want bridal style! Girl. Not helping. Not helping. So, mm -hmm. You do? Well, I suppose every girl dreams of being carried like a princess. Yeah, his stall would definitely in a big brother mode. <laughs> mm hmm. Yay! Alright, here we go. Yeah, just walking through town carrying a child bridal style. That's gonna look real great on the posters. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alice? You. That's enough of that. <laughs> what did you do? Walk like two steps? I don't think he took any steps. Well, what's wrong? Bro, he bro don't lift. That's yeah. what wrong. That's like a thought. Uh, is that healthy to spoil you just because you're a kid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy, yeah. So nice, don't nice spoil cover. her because she's a kid. Mm -hmm. If you do a lot of walking as a kid, you might not grow up to be the cliché klutzy heroine who trips over thin air. <laughs> In other words, I'm heavier than he thought. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Okay then, instead of carrying me, can we hold hands? Hand holding. Hand holding one million <laughs> petals. <laughs> of course we can. Squeeze. Oh, and this way we won't get separated. Aww. Yeah! <laughs> you agreed to it without any fuss. This is great! Yeah, she's just like, I'm used to this guy being an asshole. Mm hmm. But. <laughs> this is what I wanted. <laughs> Plus, he's taller than me for once. And he's being so sweet. He seems like the perfect guy. This supposed to be how I saw him back when I was a kid. I mean, he was also small back then, but I digress. Yeah, he was also really tiny. <laughs> So, where did you come from? The link. Huh? Was it Cinderella's world? Red Riding Hood's world? Kaguya? Gretel? Uh, why would, the, why would she come from any of those worlds? I mean... Also, best bet, Cinderella's world. Yeah. <laughs> You're lost, right? Don't tell me you don't even know what world you came from. How about try telling him the truth for once? God damn. Yeah. But she's gonna lie, because she wants to keep doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking bit. I mean, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Big Brother Alice. I don't know where I came from. I hope you choke on those <gasps> crocodile tears, girl. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> so cute. Pushover. Well, all I these looking glass worlds look alike worlds. anyway. I can understand how a kid might get lost in here. Luckily for you, I'm something of an expert, so I can get you home without any hints. I I'm kind of more impressed that he didn't expect a different world, because he knows that all those worlds have an Arasu. Yeah, but there's also where shenanigans happen, so like, eh. Yeah, that's fair. Just like and also like... Not not to knock like the whole like looking glass world, but I feel like the other worlds are mostly grounded to Earth, except for maybe snows, but he also knows it's a dream, so Yeah. The wizard does wizard shit too though, so like anything's possible and Alice is aware of that. <laughs> anything's possible, true. Mm -hmm. I'm the first. Just once more. Once more, I'd like you to call me Big Brother Alice. Three, two, go. You skipped a number. <laughs> Big Brother Alice? Who's the manliest man in all the lands? Kaguya! <laughs> Big Brother Alice? Perfect. Just leave it to me, your tourism ambassador, Big Brother Alice. We'll give you the tour. Here's the cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! You're so cool! Oh, wait, he, he's also world hoppering, isn't he? Probably, yeah. That makes much more sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now then, here we are. What is this place? Yeah, because like, their whole story was them hopping from world to world to world. Mm -hmm. A cafe ran by a broke-ass pleb who loves glass, shopping his under legs. Welcome back, Peaches. So, set up for this entire shenanigan thing. Uh, Ricky's trying to get Alice to say that, she, that he loves her. Went to the wizard, wizard made her a child, and now she's pretending to be from a different world, so that way Alice treats her nicely. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much all you need to know. So now they're world hopping. Yep. Cinderella, I take it. So he doesn't know it's his Reiki yet. Yeah. Does this look familiar? That's a dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> all of them look familiar. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for your contribution to the challenge, Peachy. Kind of? Technically, I'm not lying since I've been to each world at least once. Thanks for your contribution as well, Relix. Could you imagine if he just like leaves her ass in one of these worlds? Is like, okay, it's Cinderella. She's your problem now. Bye. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Last time I was here I was a blank slate, chasing after Alice. I didn't have time to stop and enjoy the sights. Hey, Alice? This looks like the same place. What's different about it? Congrats on the streak, Spooky. Though weird that it's your five stream streak, because wasn't it literally yesterday that you had a three stream streak? I don't know. Nothing at all. What? And like I said, all the worlds look the same. They all share the same locations. All the changes that the established relationships between characters. Yep. Which is why this is fucking pointless based on sight. Yep. Oh, right. So there's no amusement park or movie theater? Oh, here in the freaking sticks? On your life. Way too fancy. Fingers. Oh, so we're gonna end up touring the same old lake, forest, cafe, and downtown area. <laughs> Thank you. Did you want to go somewhere for fun? Yeah. 
while we're here, we may as well go on a date together, setting aside the problematic age gap. Don't set that aside, thank you very much. Yeah, put that on the table. <laughs> Hey, Alice, can we look at the stores together? Mm -hmm. You want to go to the toy store? Is that it? Yes, of course. I'll take you there. Lucky for you, I'm the caring older brother type. Oh, fuck yeah. My brother just got English patches for telephone. I don't know what that is. But He's cool. like, do you want... It's a monster collecting game in the same vein as like Pokemon, but use cell phones to summon the monsters. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so that's why it's telephone because it's like telephone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyway, we'll put, I'll put that aside for now. <laughs> what? No, I wanted to look at clothes or maybe. Wait, slow down. Candy. <laughs> I was gonna say she's tiny. Yeah. So, it would not surprise me if she just wanted to go try on, like, cute outfits, because now she's tiny and can fit in them. <laughs> yeah. And so Alice brought me to the toy store. Hey, Danley, I was hoping to surround myself with cuteness to make his heart flutter, but... And that wouldn't work. He's in big brother mode. Yeah, he was in big brother mode, and also, why are you trying to get him to... <laughs> Yeah, you want your boyfriend to be a pedophile? Hello? I was gonna say, your whole thing was like, I hope he's not a pedophile. And now it's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna make him a pedophile. <laughs> yeah. See, she's starting to catch on. Wait a minute. I look like a little kid right now. So he's only gonna take me to places for kids. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, so the pizza arcade is on the table is what I'm hearing. <laughs> If his, heart's if his heart flutters for this crap, he's practically destined for prison. Thank you for finally catching on again, Riku. Hey, Arisu. They've got a new arrival at the Build-A-Bird workshop. Build-A-Bird, that's so much better. That's so much better than bears. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. Bears. <laughs> Not any bears that we know, because they're cool, but like... Yeah. You know how many fucking stuffed bears I've seen? Too Not many. even... Just inside build a bear. Yeah. Birds are so much better. Mm -hmm. How cool would it be if instead of like a love bear for Valentine's, you got like a little dove with a heart in its mouth? Instead? I would love that so much, actually. <laughs> I know, right? But everybody does fucking bears for some reason. Fuck the bears. <laughs> Whoa! Don't drag me! Apparently he's a wagtail, the quirky owner of a cafe. Cinderella? Yeah. They just described Cinderella, what are they talking about? I, I don't know. Oh, cute! Oh, right, they're doing build a bird, so they give him backstories and shit, so he just made Cinderella a yeah. bird. That's hilarious. Does Alice like plush toys? I would have never have guessed. Really, you know guys prefer model airplanes or video games, don't they? Why not both? Casually looks over at my bed. Y yeah. Literally, why not both? <laughs> why not both? <laughs> There's more stuffed animals over there. If it's a model airplane that act like you like, it's just like uh, put together like toothpicks and you toss it just to see how far it glides. That's fine. <laughs> but like, if you're gonna go full model airplane, just get one of those RC controlled ones, maybe. <laughs> like, fuck yeah, have some fun with it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wow, so many cute toys. Hey. Look at this kitty! Look, goblin shark plushies, loved by children everywhere! Adorable, aren't they? I wanna see, I wanna see the goblin shark plushies. I, I'm pretty sure we could find one on Google real quick. Goblin shark plushie? Yeah, let's see. Oh, they exist. They're actually kinda cute. Beautiful. I will look it up too then. Uh, I wanna see if. I want to see if there's like one where you could like 
open up the plush mouth and see like all of the fucking like plush teeth in there because I think that'd be really cool. Yeah. There's... You'd almost have to make it kind of hollow, which is, I guess, is a problem because it's supposed to be plush. Yeah. These plushy results are pretty silly, though. I love them. They are pretty silly. Anyway, we were reading. Yep. Um, I guess not. <laughs> I got dots. Alice, I love you, but sometimes you scare me. No, Goblin sharks are cute. They're goofy ass creators. They're goofy ass little guys. Yeah. Yes. Just look at that long nose. Puts the goblin in goblin shark, doesn't it? Hell yeah. No, over there, they've got triple wart sea devil plush. <laughs> okay, I have to look this up now. Me too. Triple wart sea devil. Ah. He really likes his sea critters, doesn't he? He likes his deep sea monstrosities. Unfortunately, there's not a plush version of this. Sad days. So I'm just seeing the actual horror image. Yeah. It's kind of ugly, but in a cute way, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's definitely ugly cute. If I say goblin sharks are cute, that thing's fine. Yeah. You've heard of triple wart sea devils, haven't you? <laughs> Us literally having to Google them. <laughs> I, I love that. I love that everybody that found like a deep sea creatures are like, "Oh my god, this thing looks so ugly." Let's let's name it after like demons and shit. Yeah. <laughs> sea <laughs> devils. <laughs> and the females grow as large as forty centimeters, so will the males stay at just four? Tragically, males are fated to be absorbed into the females' bodies. Wow. Interesting, but <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he just knows this is funny to me. Yeah, this is just casual trivia he pulls out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> triple, triple what? Ha, <laughs> you messed up. <laughs> yes, Pr prove that you are better at saying words than a child. N no, I didn't. You can just put it in general, to be honest, Spooky. Yeah, I was gonna say, nobody needs to know context. No, no context. Just shark. No context necessary, just post picture. Hell the fuck low. Good <laughs> luck. <laughs> Alright, time for me to absolutely fuck up a lot of words. Let's fucking go. I, I, could, I can figure out the first two. Arthropoda, Crustacea, that's all I got after that, because I yeah. have to look over the other words. Arthropoda, Crustacea, Malacostra, Umalacostraroca, Isopoda, Simothodia, Cyrolanidae, nope, fuck that one up, Bathronimus Giganteus. <laughs> I feel like that would have been a lot easier to say in the Japanese, not gonna fucking lie. Scientific dude, just pull out full scientific name. Forget full government name. This yep. is fucking worse. Arthomalacostrica <laughs> isopoda. <laughs> Pathetic little baby. You can't even pronounce scientific names. <laughs> wow. I love He's Alice. He's like, I'm better than a child. <laughs> He's so stupid. He is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, don't get pissy. I'm not afraid of your puff cheeks. If anything, it only makes you cuter. Meanwhile, Ray, Ray keeps us on the ground. <laughs> now cheer up and I'll buy you this deeply profound triple port sea devil plush. I don't want it! Shameful. In that case, how about this lovely coffin fish? Girls go crazy for a flat fish in a cute shade of pink. <laughs> Alright, coffin fish. I feel like I should Let's know see this what one. Pours. I feel like I've seen this one before. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a flat guy. Yep. Ooh, there are plushies that exist, though. It's yeah, because I just looked up- I just looked up- I just looked up the actual fish. Yeah, if you look up plushies, okay, you get plushies needle- Okay, the plushies aren't bad. Yeah, the needle-felted ones are pretty good. Yeah. 
And they're also actually pink too, which is great. Yes. Why is he so hot up on obscure animals? It's Alice, don't worry about it. I was gonna say, he he's just a little quirky, mm -hmm. that's it. I love that she's finding this about him now. Yeah. Rather than, like, you know, when you're officially dating. <laughs> yep. I'll pass. So mm, Sure. Nice. How about? Hey, Alice. How can you, like, fish so much? I'm guessing it's because he studied so much about the oceans that we can go see actual Reiki. <laughs> Maybe. No particular reason. <laughs> Fuck you, there's a reason. Really? It's not because they're tasty or yummy or nutritious? First of all, you shouldn't even want to eat a deep sea fish. They're probably gross. <laughs> probably. Probably. It depends on where you catch them. They cook them on the Izu Peninsula. For real. No, it doesn't matter. My point uh, is, <laughs> when it a comes, a child knew something you didn't get emasculated, bitch. Oh boy. My point is, when it comes to the things you like, you don't need a reason. <gasps> oh, there are aquarium toys over there. Let's check it out. He needs to go on an aquarium date. That's what this sounds like. True. Take him he to, just an needs to go to an aquarium. Just go to an aquarium. Mm hmm. Peachy, when are we gonna go to the aquarium again? <laughs> it's been years. <laughs> Thanks to the coffin fish plushies you learned that I don't know how to pronounce that plushies were a thing. Amazing. Holocanth. Hmm. I imagine it's another fish. The only reason I know that is because there's a Pokemon called Relicanth. And it's an ancient old fish, so it's a relic and part of the Canth fish. Whatever. Apparently, it's Coelocanth. Coelocanth. Oh. Learning. Wham. I'm still gonna call it Colocanth. Fair enough. God, wait for me. <sighs> I'm tired. Me too. Tiny legs. <laughs> what? I'm tired already? But we're just getting started. Sila can't. No, see your can't. Senior can't. Where else are we going? I like the way your voice cracked. It was very <laughs> fitting. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the lake, the forest, the cafe, the museum. No, not again. But on second thought, aquarium day. <laughs> I'm kind of thirsty. Oh, we knew. Yep. Yeah. Then let's go to the cafe. Okay. When it comes to things you like, you don't need a reason. Does that apply to people too? Yeah, it does. Shocking. Yep. I know you're an actual child right now, Riku, but yes. <laughs> huh. It's okay, she's growing emotionally, mentally. Yep. Is that. It's Cinderella! What's he doing staying outside the lingerie store? Oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. Good question. Look at him pacing like an expecting father. <laughs> He's so dreamy. Okay. What? <laughs> He's tall and slim with a symmetrical face and long limbs like a model. There's nothing to like about a deadbeat mooch who lurks outside a woman's clothing store. He's a creep. He might look good on the outside, but he's the kind of guy who buys you gifts of his daddy's money. Fair. Accurate. 
That doesn't bother me. What are you, a saint? A baby angel? Hey, it's an. I get it, You can't let him see us. Can't breathe. You, you got lucky back there. Wait, you can't let him see you, but you were just about to go to a cafe that he runs? Who knows, man? Hmm? What's wrong? I can't understand you. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Whoops, sorry. I forgot I was still covering your mouth. <laughs> did your little heart race with my hand pressed over your lips? Alice, that's weird to ask. Hello, police. <laughs> Only because I thought I was dying. So, how come we can't talk to Cinderella? Well, obviously, because... Because why? Oh, wait. Is it because there's already an Arsu in this world? It'd be weird if there were two of us, even if we're two different ages. And because these idiots me, Alice knows. No. No. Because these idiots are crazy about you. This idiot kid who looks like their wife they'll kill you without a second thought. Do you want them to go to prison? <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's a funny line coming from him. Yeah. Now promise your big brother that you won't talk to anyone, even if it's someone you know. <laughs> Alice. Okay, I promise. Uh, Spooky. Alice doesn't know. Nope. Good, that's what I like to hear. Now, let's go wet our whistles. He thinks that this Reiki, this Arasu, is from a different world, but all the worlds currently have Arasus and brain hurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay! Oh, and they're world hopping, so that's a thing. Mm -hmm. Alice, Alice. Nanda. What is it? You said I'm not supposed to talk to anybody, right? <laughs> yeah, say that oh. in a crowded place. Yeah, that's right. And how come you brought me to a cafe full of other people? I don't have a choice. This place has the best food. I'm not sure about this. Glance. Oh, he does it. He's clueless. Well, at least the ar other Arasu isn't here. Okay, are you not ready to order then? I'm Kaguya. <laughs> it's Kaguya! I better hide behind the menu! What's this? I thought I recognized you. It's Alice! Did you come by to see us then? Something like that. Seems Agnes is not around today. What's going on? Oh, she's falling ill, you see. She's recuperating upstairs. Should I be concerned about the food quality? <laughs> <laughs> I promise I'm doing my best, even if it can't compare to hers. What do you recommend? Hmm. The green tea latte, I reckon? I had a green tea latte earlier. It was strawberry, but now it's gone, and I'm sad. This is green tea with milk, right? Yeah. That's what lattes are. Cool. cool. Mm-hmm. 
cream soda. It's like a cream soda. <laughs> Ever the contrarian you are. And what about the lovely young lady? Eek! Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, miss. I didn't mean, didn't mean to startle you. But don't you worry. Believe it or not, I'm actually a superhero. They call me the Rabbit Monster. Oh yeah, classic superhero name. <laughs> it didn't work, hmm? I think monsters are usually the bad guys. True. What? Uh, are they? <laughs> so, what do you have? Milk? Orange juice, perhaps? Green tea latte. The green tea latte? Are you sure? You know, green tea is quite bitter, yeah? Yeah. Alright then. It seems you're much more grown up than a certain blonde man child. Damn. I mean, accurate. I know. So, one cream soda and one green tea latte. Anything else? Nah. Then I shall return with your order in just a moment. I mean, it's Kago being Kagua. He's nice, but he still has that, like, sharp tongue underneath all of his pretty words. Yep. Do you think he noticed? Doubt it. He was a little distracted today. Hell yeah. Huh? Thank you for waiting. Here's your cream soda and your green tea latte. Uh, uh, thank you. Wait, what's this marshmallow for? Add a little sweetness to the bitter. It's an apology for scaring you. Don't tell my boss, alright, darling? No. He's so dreamy! Hey. Huh? Oh crap, I lowered the menu! Stare. He's totally ugly, my face! Excuse me! Uh, hi. Uh, yes, just a moment! Sorry, we're a bit busy today. Enjoy your stay, both of you. Kakua seems normal. Maybe he's stressed. He didn't even stop to ask questions about me. I'm say rabbits die when they get lonely. What? You mentioned that Aidi's too sick, right? You know Kaguya's a little bit needy, taking time bomb with mental problems as it is. Damn, I mean, fair, he did call him a man-child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I get it. He's sad because he misses her! So you... More or less. Now let's drink up so we can get going. Okay! Oh, go. <laughs> so bitter! You were warned. You know, I'm thinking Spooky might be onto something. I think Alice might know because he's like, Oh, you know Kagi was already like this. So... Yeah, I don't know. Or he has, like, some inkling. Maybe. What's wrong? It, nothing! Normally I love green tea lattes, but this one tastes extra bitter for some reason. Uh, that's because of your child taste buds. <laughs> yeah. Did he brew it wrong? It's the right shade of green, though. Wait, 
Oh god, my palate's reverted to childhood along with the rest of me! Good, she caught on. <laughs> it's so bitter! The marshmallow should help as a palate cleanser. Thanks, Kakua. You seem rather focused on the marshmallow. Don't you like your latte? Huh? Uh, of course I like it! Mmm! <sighs> he doesn't believe me. I'll trade you my cream soda. I'm a cool, smart, clever, mature adult man, such as myself, could drink green tea. No problem. He, he's gonna fountain it up into the air <laughs> as soon as he takes the first sip. Because he has the palate of a child. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't look happy. Are you sure? No, of course I am. Now remember, cream soda is a race against the clock. If you don't drink it fast enough, the cream will turn to sludge. True. Right! How is it? Really good! Thank you, Alice! Good. You're glad to hear it. Wait, I just realized! This is an indirect kiss! Oh my god. Yeah, and you're a child. Get, like, it means nothing to him. <laughs> yeah. Does he realize that? No, he's currently busy fighting with the bitter. Yeah. Glug glug. Blake is dying. He has other priorities right now. But he does. <sighs> My mouth is so icky and bitter and green right now. <laughs> Sucker. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm a mature, trendy, urban man. <laughs> yeah, quit lying to yourself. You wanted that cream soda. I want something sweet. Yeah, we should get something sweet to cleanse our palates. Girl, you should be loading up on, like, burgers, french fries, sodas, like, go ham. <laughs> And so, here we are, in Gretel's world! Huh? You want my opinion on the best desserts in the area? Yeah, ideally something so sweet will eradicate all trace of the bitterness currently camping out of my mouth hole. Something as sweet as possible. Frankly, I'm offended you wouldn't ask me that during this crisis I'm having, but I am the local expert. <laughs> I knew we were right to ask this sugar junkie. Yeah! How about Taiyaki ice cream? Mm, that would be great right about now. Mm. Taiyaki ice cream. Taiyaki, except it's frozen. No! How could you be so unimaginative? If Taiyaki stuck with fruit and ice cream, the latest trend! The cone is light, soft, and warm, while the ice cream inside is cool and fruity. The perfect harmony of hot and cold! Not only that, but it retains the classic crunch of regular taiyaki, while the filling is soft, 
That's two textures in one! So, it's like a waffle or something? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. No, then. Shall we go have ourselves some Taiyaki ice cream? Yeah! <laughs> you love that Gretel is waxing poetic about ice cream while Alice just looks disgusted? Yeah. I don't know why why he's just question is just like, oh Taiyaki ice cream? Okay, cool. And then yeah. just walks away. <laughs> Hold it right there! I've been wondering about something. Flinch. She she missed her turn in Pokemon because she flinched. <laughs> Stare. He's looking at me! You remind me of my sister! <gasps> Cotton candy hair! Adorably sculpted face! And most of all, those trademark gemstone eyes! But... On second thought, you're nothing like her. She's not as flat as an ironing board for one. She is a child, sir. Yeah. Rude! Alice, who is this girl? There's some lost kid I found. A lost child? Let's see. Yeah, yes, that's right. I think it's in my pocket. Found it! I know it's stressful to get separated from your family. Eat this and cheer up! Is that... What are you looking at me like that for? You sure you should give it to her? Isn't that you know, your special candy? The drugs? Oh, no, no, this is just ordinary star candy. No, lame. Alice. <laughs> Alice is like, man, we should drug a child. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Thank you! You know what's really funny? I just thought of this, but now the little portrait in the little corner is actual, actual hate to Reikyo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're very welcome. I typically despise children, but I'll make an exception for you since you look like my sister. So, uh, while we're at it, could you call me Big Brother Gretel? Big Brother Gretel? Nope. Sorry. Just doesn't do it for me. That's fair. So rude! I guess I need someone who's... mature in more ways than one. Ah, what a relief! If my heart fluttered for this infant, I'd lose the right to call myself a man! Or a human, for that matter! Luckily me, I'm 0% I'm zero percent pedophile! So that was a test? I guess. <laughs> good, good to know that Gretel's not into children. I'm gonna draw kick him into a different world. Yeah, pretty much. I know I should be relieved, but I have to admit, I'm kind of offended. Okay, right, Q. I know I'm short and flat chested and the polar opposite of a big sister, but still! <sighs> You're literally the polar opposite. You're a little sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm the cutest creature to ever what walk the earth. Like? You should smile. Once again, Alice showers me with compliments he'd never give the regular me. If you keep saying stuff like that, people will think you're a predator. 
And they can go ahead and think what they want. <laughs> Alice, that's not helping your case. Of all the times, like, I know that you're normally like this, but dude, not not the time or place. Not the time or place. Not the time or place, man. Why is she smiling? You. <sighs> I think she's just confused right now. Hopefully. Hopefully. Good, good. Just as I thought. The smell suits you best of all. Stop smiling. <laughs> what? You seem upset. Alice? Were you always like this? Huh? Huh? The Alice I know is more... How do I put this? He's grouchy. He never outright admits his feelings to people. So why do you keep telling me I'm cute? Because you are. Was the Herman telling it like it is? Then what happens when I grow up? Will I stop being cute? No. Who do you love more? Little me? Or big me? Oh god, I said it! I'm not right. Are you tired? <laughs> you must be. Uh, huh? N no! Don't push yourself. You've done a lot of walking today. Nupsy Tizzy. <laughs> He's gonna die. Yeah. This is the most workout he's ever done in his life. Yep. Whoa! Alright, I'll carry. Take two. For now. I'll carry you to the ice cream stand. He takes three steps and he's gonna hit the dirt. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's complicated because he probably likes both, but like only one actually romantically, and hopefully it's the age appropriate answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like we we've talked a lot about like they've talked a lot about how like love happens in these games, mm -hmm. but they also haven't really delved into the fact that like feelings change over time mm -hmm. and even like the relationships between two people even if they deepen, that means something different when, where they end up versus where it started. Yeah. So, like, if you currently love someone, it doesn't mean that you love them the entire time. Maybe you just started out as friends. But, mm -hmm. you know, eventually that feeling grew into love. And that is part of that relationship. But it is not like, oh, I love you now as I loved you then. Because that's bullshit. Yeah. Oh, they don't look so good. Which one are you getting, Alice? <laughs> <laughs> it was nice knowing you, Alice. Rest in peace. Pantwees, pantwees. Rest in piss. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> uh, y you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. Cough, cough. You know, that is exactly spooky helping Bala move. <laughs> Look, that's why you gotta pace yourself. You can't just let you like, okay, we're gonna do this until it's done. No, you need a plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also Ball helping Ball move out of his whole place. Uh, you gotta be like, okay, morning, we're taking care of this pile. Then we're gonna go take a break. We're gonna go get some food, because obviously the kitchen's gonna be fucking trash, and we can't do anything. And then we'll come back, and then we'll do this part. Yeah. I don't think he's okay, huh? No. Physically. So, what'll it be? Let me think. Strawberry! That sounds good. Spooky. I still don't think you should have been lifting with the mask on. Like, I think that was your first mistake. 
<laughs> oh, it was during pandemic? No, just because he was masking anyways. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, this was, like, not even a month ago. <laughs> I mean, good on you for practicing safety, but also at the same time, like, you're gonna waterboard yourself, man. <laughs> Sweating and breathing into your mask. Yeah, Spooky has never stopped masking, but hasn't stopped to think that maybe when I'm outside lifting things, I don't have to wear a mask. Look, if he wants to waterboard himself, that's fine. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Did you read this? Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought but I was 100% sure. That or it's going to be skipped in the VOD. One of the two. Oh boy. What about you? I'll have... Please tell me you get some, like, ridiculously long-named Sunday <laughs> with, like, deluxe at the end. Mm. I was <laughs> have a nap. <laughs> so true. It's so true. Strawberry caramel cream or chocolate banana cream. But there's also the black cut trickle with the kinaku sprinkles. Get the sprinkles. Maybe I should play it safe with strawberry caramel. Or maybe chocolate banana is the classic choice. Then let's buy let's buy two and share them. That way we can both try both flavors. Excuse me, can we get the strawberry caramel cream and the chocolate banana cream? He is so indecisive. Yeah. But that's because he's trying to, like, appear more mature than he actually is. Yeah. No. No. Mmm. Oh, she. Yummy. No, no. Yeah, not bad. Average. Decent. Pretty good. I see like this. Cause he's a little scrimble. Yeah. So, what you're saying is, you like it! Oh, I almost forgot! Here, Alice, try the strawberry cream! Or stra strawberry caramel! Can I eat the whole thing? No! It's mine. I'm just joking. Uh, nom nom. Soft and sweet, isn't it? Can I try yours? I'm fine if you insist. But just a bite. Alright, girl, unhinge your jaw and take the biggest fucking. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, I know you carried a child twice. <laughs> Congrats, boy. <laughs> <gasps> Sorry. I just need to stretch real quick, that's all. My shoulders are stiff from carrying you around. Anyway, did you want to fight? <laughs> yeah! Weak. <laughs> oh. No, sorry, my hand slipped. <laughs> You fucking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> He's messing with me. Yup. Yup. No fair. I can't reach it. She's gonna do this to him next time. Just be like, oh, are you too short for this? <laughs> <laughs> God, it feels good to read Saul. You can jump for it all you want, and unlike a certain someone, you don't have jiggle fizz- <laughs> Shin- Water. Shin kicking. I'm sorry! Are you okay, Alice? She's gonna climb him. How could you headbutt me, terrifying little goblin? <laughs> She's like gut height, too, so it's like- Yeah. Accident. What do I do? Does it hurt real bad? Pain, pain, go away. 
<laughs> the little gas pillow. <laughs> oh no! Now he's shaking even harder. Yeah. No, that's okay. You were just so cute that my heart fluttered, I guess. His heart fluttered for a literal child! I need an adult! Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry for teasing you like that. You can have as much as you want. Yay! Um. Oh, no. This one's really good too. Oh, you got whipped cream on your face. Oh. He ate it? Okay. Nom nom. No. Why is your face so red? <laughs> Do you have a fever? Alice, five seconds of thinking, please. It's fine. Like, Alice is acting mostly in accordance right now. Like, societal, kind of. Like, I did, I did preface that with kind of. There are some problematic things. Yeah, there. like, it's... Still kind of safely in Big Brother territory, but since we're not fully sure that it's his mentality right now is why it's kind of iffy. I, I'm, I'm guessing based on future knowledge of how it goes with Wizard later, uh, that he is firmly in the camp of don't know. And that's kind of where I'm assuming all my bases are from now. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at that! It's so cute! <gasps> Super adorbs! Huh? Are they brother and sister? It's so sweet how they're feeding each other. Yeah, they totally look related. No! Defeated. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Mm, you seem sad. You must really miss your family. No, that's not it. I finally get to do lovey dovey stuff with Alice. Because I'm a kid, it's not romantic at all. I don't think he's doing it with romantic intention in the first place. Yeah, he's just doing it because he's just like messing around with a kid. Yeah, very classic. He's in big brother mode. Yep, big brother teasing younger sibling. Yeah. It's just not fun. Once we finish eating, let's head out. Another perfect place for when you're feeling down. And it's just because Alice is always trying to put on a front around Reiku. Mm -hmm. Like, big Reiku. Yeah. Like, they could have been doing this shit. And she, and obviously she wanted to do this shit. Mm -hmm. But because he's like, oh, my, my image needs to be, you know, maintained at all times. Yep. They don't do this shit. Mm-hmm. Because he's trying to show off for her. Mm -hmm. Which is the problem. Yeah. Uh, okay. We've visited a lot of worlds today, haven't we? Come to think of it, I chased him across those wor these worlds on the first day we met. That you did. How come you know so much about all the different worlds, Alice? He loves here? I don't know. Because I watched over them for a long time. That's right. Alice has met countless other versions of me. So, why did he choose me? Because you chose him. Shocking. Uh, because Stockholm Syndrome be kinda cray cray. <laughs> And you, d and you were the only one to run after him. True. 
We've been to the shopping area, the cafe, the side streets, which leaves lake, 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 lake. Fuck yeah! The lake. Yep, I knew it. Fuck, I love the lake. But after seeing it over and over, I'm starting to get sick of it. Soka, you are. I must have seen it a thousand times by now, and I. I'll never get tired of it. How come? He likes the lake, dude. Isn't this the same lake where they met? Yeah. Yeah. This is where you and I first met, remember? Mm, more accurately. Where I caught you. Phrasing. Oh! Incidentally, this is where we said goodbye. And this is where we made our promise. A lot happened in that one interaction. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know, they had like a couple days. Yeah. That's right. Alice. It's great to see you again. A little hidey too. Now into the lake you go. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to cheer you up, but now you're crying. <laughs> You're bad at this, buddy. He's trying. I can't help it. Because it's obvious he loves this version of me more. Oh, Reiku. Reiku crying noises because she's an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 don't cry. Times like these, what do I do? Hey, look at me. Throw yourself in the lake. <laughs> Did he just try to do like peekaboo or something? Yeah, I need to hear it again. Oh my god! <laughs> like funny voice, funny face, mm -hmm. basically. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? I'm not a baby. Damn. <laughs> well, you're sure crying like one. <laughs> just cry harder. Why? <laughs> I was about to say bitch, I was like, no, that's a little hard for a child. <laughs> <laughs> Here, blow your nose, okay? Uh, okay. Alright, you happy to see me? <laughs> yeah, but... But I'm not the same as I was back then. Huh? And I see now. You're jealous because I've grown into a super nice, super tall guy with a handsome face and a lot of voice. Super tall? Hey, don't you question me. I'm super tall compared to you, alright? <laughs> I, lo I love that that's the point, it's just like, super <laughs> tall. Like, I just imagine that she like goes full out of cry and just goes, Super tall, what the fuck are you on? <laughs> <laughs> and then right back into cry. <laughs> yeah. I guess so. Mm, but I mean, obviously, I understand how you feel. It must be intimidating to find that the cute boy you once knew has turned into someone so perfect. Especially since you're still a little baby. <laughs> See, like I called out before, like it's all about his image. Like, yes, he's playing it up, but like, this is what he believes. If he projects confidence and being perfect, he will be perfect. And that is the big problem with Alice. Anyways, he still had more to say after Whittle Baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, you're the perfect height dog. And no hourglass curves getting in my way. Just you wait. When I grow up, I'm gonna be tall and beautiful, and I'm gonna have an hourglass figure. Ah. Yes, I know. So do you hurry up and change back? So he, I think he he did catch on somewhere. Yeah. Huh? Aren't you just gonna pretend to be a kid forever? I'm getting tired of it. 
<laughs> uh huh. Oi, oi. Oh, come on. Do you honestly think I hadn't figured it out? We're more questioning how soon. Yeah. <laughs> Think about it with an ounce of ordinary common sense. There's no way your kid self would show up out of nowhere. True. So immediately, yeah, got it. Makes sense. So he was just messing with her the entire time. On brand. <laughs> Which is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on brand for Alice, but like, just fucking great. Mm -hmm. But you said anything can happen in the looking glass world. Exactly. So when adult Arisu vanished and a kid version appeared right afterwards, my first thought was, this must be her. How stupid are you? So you kept calling me cute. It was on purpose, obviously. I was confused at first, but I figured there had to be a reason. You should be grateful I humored you at all. <laughs> I mean... He's such a little asshole. Yeah, I love him. I wasn't lying about you being cute. Not much as my honest opinion. He's a little blushy face. Aww, bitch. <laughs> Throw him in the lake. <laughs> yeah, like, I love Reiki, but she had it coming. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Try it, like... She had the chance to set the record straight, and she almost did, and she's just like, You know what, I'm just gonna hide this, because I don't think he caught on yet. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Nothing. No, you, you were like, Alice won't tell me he loves me. Maybe he's a pedo. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Spot on. He's a lot more observant than we give him credit for. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, the voice? I didn't hear it. Oh, let me go back. <laughs> wow, even when he's doing an impression, he still sounds like an asshole. Yep, that's great. And then the wizard preyed on your worst fears and convinced you to take this form, right? Mm, pretty much. Good grief. Like I said before, I met I, you know, when we were kids, but I'm still, you know... I don't get it. <laughs> Girl, I don't get it either. What is this bitch on? Quit pretending to be a little kid. You know what I'm talking about. Just fill in the blanks with whatever word you like. <laughs> don't do that. Okay. When I was little, I was... <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> what? He wanted us to mad lib it. True. So, now that I've revealed my hand, could you switch back? Oh, sure! Uh, how do I do that? <laughs> hey, wizard! Tell me how to change your back, now! <laughs> no, I'll come back. It took you long enough. You're such a jerk, Mr. Wizard! You can't just cast a spell on somebody without telling them how to undo it! Yeah. Well, I was gonna tell you, but you ran off before I had the chance, little heroine. Now that I think about it, you're totally right. Little bird brain. So, how do we turn her back to normal? It's quite simple, actually. Like any good fairy tale, it requires a kiss from her true love. I, I love this route because everybody's just messing with each other. Yeah, that's great. I love it. Like, Ray, Ray, Alice is messing with Reiki, Wizard's messing with both of them. Mm -hmm. It's fucking great. Yeah. True loves. Kiss? <laughs> Maybe you should just stay like that forever. Oh, 
Wow! Rude! Just kiss me! Think about the optics. I may be a handsome blonde tweak, but if I kiss you, I'm gonna look like a pedo in the making. <laughs> I love that he called himself a twink. He's at least self aware. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to let them think what they want? Huh? Did I say that? <laughs> yeah. Yes! You did! Now hurry up and kiss me! I refuse. Come on! I'm starting to feel bad for the girl. Can't you just kiss her? <laughs> Wizard is loving this. Yep. You should feel bad for me on the sex offender list I'm about to be put on. I quit screaming and just kiss her already. I'm going to film it and get you cancelled online. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know the looking glass world had social media. So, any chance I could do it on the cheek? Nope. <laughs> the sound. Because he wants you to squirm, bitch. The sound Alice made, though. <laughs> <laughs> you can literally hear his teeth grinding. Mm -hmm. Or would you rather that I kiss her myself? Huh? What? Uh -huh. Like I said, breaking the spell requires a kiss of true love. In other words, anyone who truly loves her can do it. Like me, for example. Smart thinking, Mr. Wizard! You'd better not. No. Then why is that? No, I mean, none of us would want to go to jail, right? And since you look a lot older than I do, the object would be even worse for you. True, but... <laughs> Alice hiding his feelings yep. like a little bitch. I don't care. How are you so selfless? Because he's, he's getting a kick out of it. Yeah. B besides, we all have our own Arisus. This one's mine. No. Yeah, we got her at build a we got her at build a bird <laughs> <laughs> workshop. I'm yours. So then. And that's true. In the fairy tales she gave us, there's a heroine for e every one of us. But is that truly enough for you? Huh? Didn't you fall for the queen like I did? As a child, you met Reiki Arisu and fell in love with her. Oh, don't worry, Spooky. They're, he's in the middle of his drama, and they're and we're getting the drama back on track with these two. That's what's going on here. More accurately, it was Alistair, but he had to touch those memories to create you. In other words, you are officially the prince who first saved Great Q.R.D.C. But the is standing here, however identical to the queen in appearance, is a different person with the different memories and feelings. She isn't the one from whom you received your ribbon, nor the one you yearn to see again. The one you want is the queen. She's not your princess, she's an imposter. Can you honestly look me in the eye and tell me you love the girl standing in front of you? Wizard projecting so hard right now. Yup. Alice. <sighs> Alright, I have heard enough. This is just more of your sin that I drivel. No, there's never stopped to ask what I see this. I never questioned their love for her. But you, wizard, you're so smart, it loops back around to being stupid. 
Like you said, I met Reiki Wadisu as a kid and fell in love with her. Technically, the girl's standing curious at who I got my ribbon from, nor is she the one I made that promise with. But so what? The girl still yeah, I said it during Wizard's Room. <laughs> but that girl still exists in my memories, and the one standing here is still the same girl I spent that one perfect summer with. To act like she is not would be a projection of the real her, not myself, and the story that became on that fateful day. Besides, I only met the adult Arisu here in the Looking Glass world. I've been living rent-free in here for a long time, you know. <laughs> and I thought about keeping it that way. But everyone else is a nutcase or a yandere or a simp or an edgelord or a shut-in or an even bigger asshole than me. I, yeah. yeah. So my only option was to come out and do some work for a change. And thanks to that, I met Arisu. Not that I had the chance to celebrate. I've watched Arisu in so many stories thus far. And they're all practically unchanged from when she was a kid. A helpless, needy little crybaby with a cute smile. They're identical in appearance and personality. But each of them are unique. And why wouldn't they be? Their stories are different. Their backstories are different. Their environments are different. With that said, the one I fell in love with is the one in my story. How do you like that, huh, wizard? You must be so mad that I wrecked your facts and logic. <laughs> Literally, Alice is going, <laughs> You know what your problem is. You think too much. And if you listen to your heart for a change. <laughs> My heart, hmm? Well then. How about this? Wait, where am I? That arse is cute. Is that from Arsu Academy? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Oh, it's Alice! I see him! Hi, Alice! I see the Dark Sider! The slide again. Too many Arisus! I love what the one of the others is like, just let me go back to work. Yeah. Fuck this shit. Basically. <laughs> hmm. Yup, I brought in one from out. each world. You punk. After I opened up to you, you respond by bullying me! Yeah, that's pretty much the MO for this entire series. Yep. <laughs> In case you forgot or something, I hate your guts, so I took your advice and followed my heart. <laughs> now then, let's see if you can correctly identify your Arisu. The easiest game of guess whoever. Arisu, come here! <laughs> Fair. Sigh. No, I knew it'd be too easy. Of course it was. That was the power of love. Right. And now we're gonna leave Wizard here to get berated by all the different Reikus. Yep. <laughs> Dying. Fair. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Is this far enough? 
I'm exhausted. <laughs> Speaking about somebody literally dying. Sheesh. You okay? Like yeah, hell, I'm, I'm okay. okay. Yeah. Only did your There's little legs outrun me, but you have the nerve to drag me with you. Imagine how I feel losing to a girl in a single digit. Take a hint. <laughs> she dragged him. <laughs> Gosh, this takes me back to the time we first met, when you led me by the hand. So, yeah. You know, I'm impressed you picked me out of that huge group of Arasus. You were literally just the tiniest one that he could pick up and run away with. Yeah, exactly. You're the only one that was still an actual child, like... Of course I did. In the love of my life. <gasps> Come to think of it, when I traveled through the other worlds, they all sense that I wasn't there, Arasu. Exactly. But why me? You killed countless other Arasus before I came along, didn't you? We're all practically identical, too. So what made me so special? You're nothing like them. Huh? And chased after me when I ran away. You called my name. And you caught me. <laughs> yeah, Rick, you, you literally chased this boy through space time. <laughs> yup. <laughs> and you fell in love with me. And that's why I fell for you in return. Understand now? Yeah! Stockholm Syndrome! <laughs> anyway, we're returning to normal now. Close your eyes. Imagine the wizard is such a dick that it f that instead of instead of like reversing it, it just flips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That would be hilarious. It would. Alice sounds. Damn. Alice sounds. He's stalling. What a little bitch. <laughs> oh no! Wait, relics. I think you're onto something. Mm hmm. Mm, no one is here, right? Uh, no one's gonna tell the footage. The tragic hottest guy in town is a pedophile. He's putting her around. It'll be fine. Would it be easier if, for you if I kissed you instead? No. I mean, remember what the wizard said? It has to be a kiss from your true love. Emphasis on from. So I gotta be the one to do it or it won't work. Good point. He... Besides, you can't reach because I'm so super tall. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh, true. Okay, then. I'm waiting. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how do we do this? Should I pin down or pick you up? My vote is for pick up, because if you're going to turn her back to normal, if you kiss her while you're crouching, she's going to be, like, up, way above you. But if you, like, kiss her while you're holding her up, then she has the room to grow down to the ground. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I know. Sit over there. That'll make it easier. Or that. Okay. I'm sitting down now. <laughs> I gotta Never announce a right. hesitation with this girl. I mean, they've done a lot with a black screen and tech box here, so. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> Making a special exception today. Got it. Bro, it's a kiss, not a cheat day. <laughs> Get on with it. Kiss. 
It really worked. Alice, I'm back to norm. Grab. <gasps> no, another kiss. Aww. Huh? It'd be weird if I like kissed your kid self. I mean, we're the same age, so it makes more sense to kiss the regular you. Look at her little face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are you blushing for? Relax, it was just a kiss. You're blushing too, genius. <laughs> hey, um, now they're supposed hey, um, to be together. Eh. Yeah, it's okay. What is it, Alice? You go first. A proper lady knows when to let the gentleman have the spotlight. No, by all means. A true gentleman believes in ladies first, after all. <laughs> oh, great. We're going to go into the logic loop here. Yep. Okay. Um. <clears throat> well, uh, I know I'm a smartass who talks a lot of smack, and I never open up, so it might seem like I don't love you, but... Just when I say that, you know, you mean the world to me, that stuff. If anything, it's a miracle that I got you to fall in love with me. And every date together is a blessing, and... Thank you for loving me. No. I love you. Very cute. Aww! I love you too, Alice! God! <laughs> like cramp. <laughs> well, he's down. <laughs> Alice down! Medic! <laughs> oh no! Did I crush you? Oh, she jumped at him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot I was full sized again. <laughs> you need to clump me regardless of what size you are. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe. <laughs> His smile. <laughs> you really are adorable. Oh. Huh? Have some confidence. You got the cutest smile in all the world. You're my princess. No. Well, obviously they have some, like, you know, quirky things to work out, but... Mm-hmm. Seems like a good spot, at least. Yep. Uh, Alice? Are you sure you can do this? No problem. Well, Everything's I... fine. He, is he, he's gonna try and pet a cat, is he? <laughs> Maybe. Don't give me that scared look. You don't believe me? Of course I believe you, but... It's just scary, okay? If you can't carry me bridal star style, it's gonna destroy my will to live! Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> I'll destroy mine too. <laughs> Mainly his spine, his legs. <laughs> yep. Good grief. Need I remind you, this is your idea. Why are you so hung up on bridal style anyway? <laughs> because... I'm jealous. You did it for little Arasu, but not me! I mean, you were little Arisu. <laughs> I want you to do it for regular me! He doesn't live! Let's start lifting, bro. 
<laughs> he's got to start lifting. He's got to get those gains. <laughs> he's got to get those protein shakes in. <laughs> but I know I'm taller than you, and I always end up crushing you. When you're heavy. Admit it. <laughs> <laughs> Admit you're weak, Alice. Goes both ways here. <laughs> No, for crying out loud. You're only half an inch taller than me. But the rest of these losers can do it. Surely I. Oh, Alice. Break you solution. Carry him. <laughs> well, okay. I admit I'm the delicate side. But I can do it. Totally. Probably. <laughs> You'll get one single lift. It won't be a carry. It'll be a lift. And mm -hmm. then you put her back down. <laughs> yup. Progress is progress, though. Yeah. I knew it! You're scared, too! I'm fine. Even Snow White could do it. <laughs> Snow White's slender. He's not for <laughs> But Snow is also extremely malnourished. You think that <laughs> Besides, the key to a bridal carry isn't weight. It's coordination between the carrier and carried. It's a matter of compatibility. Being in sync. Remind me, what are we? Boyfriend and girlfriend! That's right. I'm your sweetheart, your boyfriend, your prince. So there's nothing we can't do. Probably. <laughs> She has 48 kilograms. I mean, look at Alice. That's pretty light for like a full ass adult. Yeah, but then also Alice. It, like, he's, yeah, Alice yeah. is not lifting that. Mm -mm. I'm just gonna casually disregard that last word and trust you completely. Good, perfect. Now, on the count of three, I'm gonna lift you. Three, two, one. Go! <laughs> he did! They're both shocked. Whoa! They're both surprised Pikachu face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're both doing like, oh, oh. <laughs> Alice is like, oh, I can. And Riggy's like, oh, he can. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> what the? I did it? <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that? I can do whatever I put my mind to. <laughs> You're amazing, Alice! N hey, Riku, don't just slow around like that or I'll lose my balance. <laughs> oh, Alice! You're the prince of my dreams! You're good. I better be. You know, the classic fairy tales have the prince bridal carry his princess after all. And this is the last act Alice does with functioning legs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you'll always be the most handsome prince in the world. Damn right. No, let me. One step, baby. Oh, Alice. I'm so glad I met you. We're still going? You said it's a miracle I fell for you, but to me, there's no way I wouldn't have. You're just so perfect. Thank you. I'm glad I fell for you. Being your princess and maybe the happiest girl in the world. From now on, no matter what problems we face, it shall not touch with breath of veil the presence of our fairy tale. Ha! Huh. That's a reference. I know, but like, what? <laughs> I'll never let you go. Now let's explore the other side of the rainbow! Uh oh. Oh, they still haven't done that. <laughs> His face. <laughs> Uh, Alice? Can't hold on. Uh, Drop her like a sack of potatoes, let's go. Uh-oh! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Our story goes on. Let's go. We knew. I mean, honestly, he held out longer than I thought he was. Yeah. Than we, than I thought he was going to. That's the perfect way to wrap that up. I love it. Yeah, just the, oh, we're still going. Okay, let me just, uh. <laughs> <laughs> being able Dies. to lift a weight is not the same as being able to hold it up for a long time. So true. True. Beautiful. So that was it. Yep, that's it. No more Taisho Alice. That's the yeah. end. <laughs> no, it was good. Yep. Oh, I forgot your cage here. Hang on, I can fix this. There you go. Free me. Yeah, someone break the cage. Just one more I cage. Want confetti. Oh, yay! I don't think I have the confetti <laughs> set up on this one though. Oopsie. I'll add it. Damn. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Pichu's gonna break me out too. Oh my god. Cute. You guys do care. <laughs> there you go. There's the confetti. And then I'll tear it off. Damn, you should have taken longer to add it back. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. I am free to cause chaos and mischief wherever I go. Yep, and now there will be a channel point redeemed to toggle the cage on and off of you for future streams. It's no longer permanent. <laughs> I get that on my channel already. I know, and you get it on this channel too. <laughs> You'll never be free. No, you can't make me. Um, I do have a like tier list for the characters, but we can also like <gasps> custom make a character sorter. I don't know what you'd prefer to do. Right, let's let's do it. What okay. whatever you have, does it at least have all the main guys on it? Yeah, the tier maker does have all of them, all right, including cool. Yoshi we'll, and Wolf. We'll just do that then. Okay, I'll send you the. I'll send the link in the chat actually. Oh. We could just do it together, like a together one, and we could talk about like where personally we put them. Everyone can make their own tier list too. Yeah, but let me. Yeah. Uh, I'll go back to the game screen actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. This one. Yeah. Oh, you're back on the cage. Let me remove that. I was going to say, we worked so hard. Right, actually, I'll just... To get out of that cage. I'll play the animation. That will remove it for me and confetti again, because why not? Uh, could you could you share your screen with me on Discord so I could see it in real time instead of waiting for the stream lag? Uh, yeah, let me also put up on stream too, though. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, yeah. Pull that out so it's its own window. Now is the best part of any visual novel game. We get to rank the characters yep. on... Whatever we want, actually. It could be, like, most horrible to least horrible, or, like, best boy, which is probably what we're going to do. Something like uh, that. At least yeah. is on this list, too. Reiki or, like, is on this list, I... too, yeah. Okay, cool. Let me adjust. Nope, that's worse. Even though we don't know what her official name is, because we overrode her existence. It's Eureka. Eureka, Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll use this one and readjust it because I'm not going to need it for the same window settings as Taisho Alice anymore. Hell yeah. Because it's still in Windows. It's still a special thing. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. Welcome to boys. The tier list. Yeah. Let me... You thought that. we were just doing one boy? Nah, we got the boys. Yep, the boys list. I'm gonna start playing some music. Eureka! Otherwise, I'm gonna lose oh. my mind. I heard the stream. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, do we want to start with the boys first, and we'll go with Eureka last, or sure? You can hear music on your end. Yeah, because I will go crazy without music. Oh, Otherwise, okay. it would be dead silence. Sense. Yeah. And it's still on like the same browser, just different window, so. So we just wanna like Do we wanna you wanna pick one and I'll pick one and then we'll just go from there? Sure. You wanna pick the first All one? Right, cool. 
Uh, let's start with Red. I feel like he'd be pretty easy. Nope, he's right here. Here he is. The yeah. boy. I think... I think he's a B for me. I think I agree. Because, like, there wasn't really anything terribly special with his Rue. It's just like, yeah. you know, like, oh, they had that fun detective plot. But yeah. like, then we find, like, the twist was that he was doing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And all their interactions since then have just been pubby. Yep, pubby. So not bad, but not great. Yeah, pretty mid, but in not necessarily bad way. He's mid in a good way. Yeah. Yeah, special officer puppy. Mm-hmm. All right, now you pick one. Cinderella. Ooh, Cinderella. I want to say is a nice solid A. Yeah, I agree. A bit problematic. Yeah. But like, he is charming as fuck. <laughs> He, he was such a strong start to the series mm -hmm. that once we finished Cinderella's we were like, oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a good opening act. We're not Alice yet, PT. Settle down, settle down. And then all like all of his follow-up stuff, like even in the other routes, have just been like really good to his character. Like they really knew how to characterize Cinderella very well. Mm -hmm. They made sure that he knew more about what was going on than other characters, which was really nice. Yeah. Because it added up to, like, oh, how much does Cinderella know as we get further into the story? So, mm -hmm. like, really solid A. Yeah. Big good um, Which one of these is Gretel? This one. <laughs> Alright, Gretel. Um, if we're talking main story, I want to put him at, like, a D. Because his was, like, the one that made me, like, actively repulse, and I had to voice him. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. But, like, the after route kind of bumped him up to a C. Yeah, that's fair, I see it. Because, like, in the after story, we got to see more of him, like, as an actual character, like we've seen the other routes. Yeah. But his actual route was rough. Y yeah. Yeah. His actual route. On the bright side, we did get a lot of, like, background lore, especially for, like, a decent chunk of time of the overarching story. Yeah. Like, I feel like... Yeah, but Gretel and C2, yeah. I feel like with Gretel's, like, uncomfiness, I feel like, in a way, it was kind of necessary. Especially mm -hmm. if you're keeping him as a Syscon as part of his character. I feel like... Yes, exactly. He would be better off not being a Syscon, but that's a different topic. But... As, we, as we learned more about the circumstances around it, it mm -hmm. became a little bit clearer what his intentions were. Yeah. So I think by the end of his route, we weren't totally on board with him, but we're like, it's understandable where he's at. Yeah. And I feel like... So just for... a nice C. Yeah. And I feel like for, like, having a dedicated CISCON, like, trope, I feel like it was handled pretty well, too. Yes. Because, like, everyone's like, mm, this is a little weird, but... Yeah. Yeah. Like, they handled their they handled their character trope very well. Mm hmm Which you can't say for a lot of these games when they introduce, like, a CISCON character. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, how was, uh, fucking, what was that series that you were doing? I've done a lot of series. I know, it's the one, it's the one with Toka. I forgot the name of it. Oh, Data Live. Data Live, yeah. How, the, how they handled Coterie's route, like, it's fine at the end, but, like, they just didn't know how to handle the roots. Yeah. I put Ed Red and A, but that's mostly who who I went on to date IRL. Yeah, exactly. Red would be fun to date. Absolutely. If we're doing this based on, like, dating, Red would be an A. Because he's just the golden retriever boyfriend. I'm not sure I want to date Red, I'll be honest, but that's just me. <laughs> okay. Uh, abstract, then. Uh, outside of the tier list, which one of these boys would you like to date? And I think I know the answer. Are you thinking Alice? Yes. Yeah, I mean... 
<laughs> you you made your love known for Alice since the very beginning, even when I wasn't on board with him. I just thought he was like some annoying person. I, I've liked Alice since before we even actually knew what his personality was like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. So who's next? Um, it's my turn, huh? Oh, uh, let's mm-hmm. go for Kaguya. All right, Kaguya. Let me think, because I want to put him in the A category. Interesting. Because I don't think he's an S. Mm-hmm. But he's, like, almost there. Because I found his route very compelling for, like, an amnesiac story. Yeah. And also, like, if it wasn't for, like, oh, self-harm was the way that you proved that you love me, I'd put it in an S. That's fair. Like, really, it's just that last bit that I'm like, yeah, it's a solid A. I think after his after story, I just don't like him as a person anymore, though. So I would put him <laughs> lower. So maybe we can compromise and put him at B. Yeah, I will say his post story didn't really do him any favors. Let's, don't, let's put him in C. C? Okay. Yeah, like his, like his main route's really good for the shock value but once you get past like the amnesiac and the whole like ending Mm -hmm. there's not much to his character besides just jealousy yeah which is ick yeah see see exactly Mm -hmm. all right my turn Mm -hmm. um let's go with wizard i feel like wizard's gonna be high yeah is he S tier though? That's the big question here. I personally would put him on S tier, but I really like my morally gray characters, so. Mm, I will agree with that. S tier is where Wizard should be. He's also because... really fun to read as. <laughs> Wizard is such a great character. Mm hmm. Like, you could take him and put him just like in any other story, he'd be great. Yeah. Because he's just that morally great character that's just kind of, like, you know, just there to stir the pot, keep the story moving. Mm-hmm. And even his story was, like, pretty okay, because it's just like, just choose one. Like, fuck, like... <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I will say that his story didn't do him favors that the other stories weren't already doing for him. True. But, like, his post-story... Mwah. Mm-hmm. Where we see that inner dilemma. Mm-hmm. Love it. Alright, your turn. Pick one. Let's go for Ryoshi. Alright, Ryoshi. Well, he's hot, so that helps. Yeah, it does help um. that he's hot. Let's see. We really don't see a lot of him in the stories. We see a lot of different versions of him. Yeah. And then the version of him that we do interact with a lot in the story is rehashing a lot of what happened. I do like his... We can't really call it a post-story because it's his, it's his story. Yeah. His his version of events. Mm-hmm. I want to put him as an A. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Because he's just a really nice guy all around. Like, he treats everybody everybody relatively the same, with the same amount of courtesy. Mm-hmm. And even when we got, like, the bad ending, or quote-unquote bad ending, quote-unquote, you could have fall for my sister ending. Yeah. It was more just like, yeah, I'm just going to focus on her for a bit, because she needs attention. Mm-hmm. So, overall, good guy. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't... Gently sticks to Ryoshi in A tier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I wouldn't necessarily, like, want Ryoshi as my doctor, but I wouldn't necessarily be mad if he was either type of thing. Ooh, hot take on Wizard here. Put Wizard in B in terms of dating. He need, he reads as that person that weaponizes therapy language to avoid accountability during an argument. I wouldn't say he avoids accountability. He will use logic to basically say, I have no part in this. Yeah. But he's not going to be like, oh, I, I fuck. 
if I fucked up, I can just hand wave it over with facts and figures. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I get to pick. Yep. Uh, I think... <laughs> Really, at this point, it's between Wolf and Snow, so let's do Wolf. Okay. Because <laughs> I know who we're saving for last. Yeah. Uh, Wolf. Gotta say, I do kind of like, like, the desperate loser that will do anything for his crush. Relatable, right? Relatable, super relatable. <laughs> A little bit too relatable. <laughs> As far as, like, Wolf overall in the series, mm -hmm. I want to say B almost A. Yeah, I was also thinking B. Because, like, it's... He's a good character. Mm -hmm. They definitely knew how to write, like, comedy sidekick. Yeah. And when he does... And he does help with the plot a lot, even in the other stories. Mm-hmm. I actually put Ryoshi in C. He isn't problematic. I just don't think we'd be compatible. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I don't like Wolf's skirt chaser traits, but other than that, he's a great character. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So just nice, solid middle road there. Mm -hmm. So I guess Snow next. Yeah, Snow. Um, It's between B and C for me. Mm. What do you think? I was thinking A, possibly. Mm. But I'm willing to compromise and put him in B. No, don't compromise. Tell me your reasoning. We're here to debate. I don't know. He's cute. <laughs> what else am I supposed to say? <laughs> you know, I will put him... I'll, I'll say A. Okay. We learned a lot of like the overarching story through Snow's Root. Yeah. We learned a lot of how the the looking glass world looks or works uh we found a lot about how snow functions as a human being which is barely um <laughs> yeah i really like how like things started to like break down into revealing yes. the did thing it was pretty cool i liked that yeah and i think they did handle this character very well even when they were doing like the ryoshi version mm -hmm. where it's alistair doing or, you know, like, yeah, Alistair with Snow's mannerisms. Mm -hmm. Like, I think the voice actor did a really good job of portraying yeah. Snow in that part, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Snow and B, I'm not sure if it could handle everything. Yeah, that's fair. That's a lot to unpack. <laughs> yeah. Literally witnesses a dead body. Mm hmm. And just sucks it up for everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, the shit snow goes through with his mom. Fuck. Yeah, he, poor baby. Oh, he's cute. Oh, he's traumatized. Oh no, it's full. He's traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> Alice, this this one's easy. Yep. S. Yep. Above wizard. Above wizard. <laughs> Above wizard. Alice has just been consistently good through the entire series. Mm hmm. Like, at first I was just like, he's kind of an asshole. But at the end I was like, he's kind of an asshole, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, lovingly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I leaves MC Yurika herself. Yep. Mm, I want to say she scores pretty high for me. What about you? <laughs> Honestly, I'd say, like, either low A or high B. Let's go high B. I feel like it's a pretty good spot for her. Yeah. Because, like, some versions of Reiki really aren't it. Yeah, like, the, the thing is, like, we know there's supposed to be, like, different versions of Reiki, but there are some that are just the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Gretel's. It's just such a girly pop. Yeah. Oh yeah, like, don't get me wrong, like, aesthetic-wise. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that, like, they had to write basically a different character for, you know, her spot for every story. Yeah. 
absolutely hilarious had a like if you said uh if you said like alice's yurika mm -hmm. she'd be s tier yeah because i like how they play off each other but mm -hmm. like it really depends on who she's with yeah and like which version of her it is mm -hmm. so that's why she's a b yeah because like honestly i rank cinderella as an a mm -hmm. i don't like cinderella's yurika <laughs> yeah that's fair because she just kind of, she's just complimentary what's to what Cinderella is already doing, mm -hmm. and she he does change for her, but like other than that, like there's just nothing there really. Yeah. <laughs> I dump cock you as Eureka so fast. Yeah, exactly. See, it's all based on like which one we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And even if we're talking like IRL Eureka, like. She is a conniving, scheming person yeah. who will try to do everything she can to get with the person that she wants to be with, which is currently one guy. <laughs> yeah. And she, she will use anybody and everybody to get there, including Wolf, which is also in B tier. <laughs> yeah. Like, Ryoshi, I kind of understand. She's also a bit of a sociopath, IRL. Like, yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, all all the ones in the in the fairy tale stories, mm -hmm. cute, sweet, innocent. IRL Eureka, holy fucking shit, night and day. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all of them. Yep. <laughs> oh wait, no, we didn't do Alistair. Yeah, there isn't. We exactly don't have all the characters. I might be able to add an image. Hang on. Let's see. It's just gonna be a random. There's also image. murder your Oh my god, I forgot that she fucking murdered herself. <laughs> Alistair will there be. There we go, a duck. that's Alistair. <laughs> yep, he's a duck. Uh, let's see. Alistair, Alistair. But honestly, the few scenes we get with him, S tier. I was thinking A, but I can put him as a high A. Yeah, let's do high A. <laughs> just a random duck. <laughs> Cause I really, I really like how he, how he's just a decent guy. Yeah. You know, like to everybody, like he's just like, yes, I know this happens. I can't really control it, but when I'm here, I'm gonna be the nicest version of me that I can be. Yeah. He... Even if he is like a little like sheltered, closed off, because he doesn't want people getting close, because he's like, oh, what if it, what happens if I switch? And they think that I'm a freaking mm -hmm. crazy person. Yeah, he's just trying his best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, Alistair, prime Alice gender bend name, 10 out of 10. Yeah. It's a very common one that I've seen. Hey, so yeah. Hi, A. It's just so silly with a little duck there. <laughs> also, I'm just remembering like the entirety of Bolster with Alistair, and it's just yeah. oh, so good. Mm -hmm. So so healing, so wholesome. Yes. 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, the ending where like he's best bros with Alistair without like competing for Reiki, that was like my favorite ending. <laughs> yeah. There's like the full fantasy one where he's like still head over heels for him. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. But that's all of them. Yep. Wolf, one, one. Yes, one, one. <laughs> I, I'm so. You know what? That It doesn't surprise me that we put anybody in D tier. Yeah. Because, like, all of the characters had at least something going for them. Mm hmm Because, like, while there were definitely very uncomfortable moments, looks at Gretel. Um, <laughs> it didn't He's really... tier for a reason. Yeah. Like... Actually, bump Kaguya up one. You mean like that? Yeah, there we go. That, that That's better reflective of the... <laughs> yeah. Of the, of the actual rankings. Because while Kaguya got into uncomfortable territory... Gretel's is kind of uncomfortable from the get-go and about yeah. till about three-fourths of the way through, and even then... Yeah, it was very actively uncomfortable, whereas Kage just was like, 
I don't know. It, wasn't it was like bad. the last third of the story yeah. was uncomfortable with Kagula, and that's just because we finally figured out what his fucking backstory was. Yeah. And we did Kagula after Snow, right? Before. Before. Kagula's episode two. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. He and Gretel were a combo pack in that one. Yeah. Like the play order was Cinderella, Red, then Gretel, Kaguya, Snow, Wizard, Alice. Episode two started strong, man. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it started really fast. With yeah. Gretel. We're like, oh, we're into kidnapping people now. Uh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Had to put fucking content warnings on some of those videos. <laughs> I don't blame you. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, episode two is just one giant content warning. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Because like even even Kaguya's route was not safe. <laughs> yeah, it really wasn't, man. <laughs> it's a lot of taps of Daifuku spooky. That's not enough Daifuku. You're right, you're right. You should just have a browser dedicated to only Daifuku. <laughs> that might be a bit much. <laughs> yeah, that gets into a little bit of shrine territory and that can go wrong pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. But yay! Yay. I would say, hey, let's rank what episodes were our favorite, but then it's like, okay, which two character stories were the best? Yeah. <laughs> side by side. Yeah. <laughs> which obviously we all know the answer to that, right? I feel like it's kind of implied based off of our ranking, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be um it's all it's gonna be episode three. Yeah. The, the ice wizard combo. Mm hmm. Mm. Love it. Yeah. Do you want cold and detached, or do you want cold and will murder you? Yep. <laughs> the options. <laughs> the options. Ooh. <laughs> I do like that we had to get a bunch of, like, dead ends in order to unlock wizards' route. Yeah, I kind of wish that. Dead ends were a bit more of a concept in these types of games. Yeah. Because, like, it was interesting that, like, hey, we needed at least a couple dead ends before we got to. We even got access to Wizard Fruit. Mm hmm. Where the rest of the one was just like, hey, pitch, pick which boy is the prettiest. And I'm like, mmm. Yeah. <laughs> But it was interesting when we got to episode three, we were like, okay, we know this sauna dance. Oh, we can only pick snow. Yeah. Interesting. Which, like, worked <laughs> out because he wanted to do snow's route first anyway, oh, but, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, damn. We were already, like, thinking, like, oh, Wizard knows more than he's letting on about this whole situation, yeah. so we should do him last. Yep. But then we had no choice anyway, so. <laughs> we are like, that's fine, because this is how we wanted it. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> So, how do you feel? I don't know. It's just that weird feeling, like, after <laughs> finishing something, you know? Yeah. Especially since we've been at this for, like, almost a whole year. Like, that's still crazy to me. Yeah, it's like, you're satisfied, but you're like, I can't believe it's over. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah. It's a weird, melancholy-like feeling. Mm-hmm. Where it's just like... This is like a good part of like an entire year. Yeah, if, and then some. If you didn't have your little winter break, like, it would be like only a month shy of a whole year. Cause like from like this current week, I'm pretty sure we're only like a week off or so. Yeah. Yeah, what was the, what was the first stream of this? 
like all the way back episode one where we're both awkward as fuck around each other <laughs> yeah let me see i can check my vods <laughs> channel <laughs> oh trust me i noticed <laughs> i mean i don't really remember my memory is bad <laughs> I, I didn't call it out because i was fucking awkward as fuck too because i was just like oh we're just feeling the waters here you know <laughs> yeah because like we did like the turn up boy during subathon mm -hmm. and then whatever you randomly popped in but like we definitely weren't quite friends yet that's for sure yeah but now we are we're just popping in just popping in because i felt like it was like yeah yeah i'm here because this person's cool. Yep. Friend I want them to like me. <laughs> Developing friendship through Otome. Normal things. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad. I'm bad with making friendships through text. I'm very good when it comes to like voice and one-on-one -on -one confrontation, though. Mm -hmm. How about you? Mm, what about me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, our first stream was September 1st, 2023. So I guess the year mark is when I plan to start September. <laughs> oh my god, that's like, what's that, like a week? Two weeks away. A little over a week because the first is Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, it's like eight days. Yeah, something like that's that. That's crazy. That's almost a year. Yeah. Wild. I'm gonna throw up just chatting screen. We're done with the tier list. <laughs> but are we? <laughs> oh, hi confetti. Hi confetti. Yeah, as soon, as soon as we interacted with Wizard and Alice, I'm like, oh, they're going top of the leaderboards right there. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> that was inevitable. <laughs> I was like, they're both kind of assholes, but they're the right kind of asshole. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> They're great. Yeah. All right. Well, is there any like we have to close the VOD, don't we? Yeah. Got to wrap shit up. Wrap we up. We can't the just series. be like, well, that's it, guys. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Bye. That's it. <laughs> See you later. Because <laughs> there is no later. I mean, there is, but it'll be in Hello Charlotte instead. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm looking but forward as far, to. As, as far as this series, yeah, I think this has been a really fun Otome game. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to say it's like, oh, by the way, dating is fun now for me because <laughs> you know, no, that's not, not how that into works. that shit. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like I can see why people like these stories now. Mm -hmm. I just remember like dying whatever they were doing like cutesy couple shit. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of involuntary. <laughs> I like how there's like sex repulse but like you seem to be like relationship repulse which I think is funny in a way. <laughs> it, it's not so much relationship because I like the idea of like knowing somebody on an intimate level. Mm-hmm. But I don't like all the steps that it takes to go there. Mm. Like, hanging out, being friends, playing games, that's fine. But when it's like, oh, you're so cute, we're going to be in love forever. Fuck no. <laughs> As we stated before, earlier in the stream, feelings change over time. Yeah. Not always for the positive. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like, why play the long con? when there are better ways to go about it. True. So I'm not so much relationship adverse, I'm more dating adverse, because dating is the fucking worst. I mean, that's kind of what I meant by relationship. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I, I would hope you're not friendship adverse. Then what are we if you were? <laughs> Uh, well, I didn't know how to bring this up. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I hate your guts, despite the fact that we did this for like a whole year. Sorry. Yeah, I was doing this at an obligation. Um... <laughs> yeah, sorry. I felt really obligated too. Like, after Hello Charlie, I think you're going to be done with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Like, 
<laughs> God, how long have you been in a cage? Because that's been since episode three. <laughs> like half a year, I want to say, right? If it's been... Wait, episode yeah. three as in the game episode three? Or the is game it episode, episode three, three is the third stream? The game, because uh, of okay, Mr. Because game of episode three. Yeah. I think that was... Game episode three, that had to be like... That was around wintertime, because I think it was... Yeah, because... Yeah, that was like... Well, right not episode three, episode break. two, but like still, yeah. That was like right after the break, so that was like December, January. Yeah, no, that was actually oh, episode... January! That's when you came back and we did Snow's Route, so it was before then, actually, because it was because of Gretel's Route that the cage was introduced. Okay, and then it had to be like early December then. Yeah, or November. So you've been in a cage for yeah. the majority of a year. Wow. <laughs> How does that On make the bright you feel? side, we're getting food, water, True. boys. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it'd be fun to do another Ultima game together, but I don't think I have any others right now. I mean, I do have one on my Vita, but I don't have a PSTV still, sadly. <laughs> yeah, the only one I can think of. Have I even looked at any Ultima games? Like, starting the stream, I was like, you know what? These are fun. I need some, like, lighthearted visual novels to read on stream. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, I'm going to die if they start acting like fucking cutesy crap. I mean, there's Hot to Full Boyfriend. I think that counts as a note to me. That does technically count, and I've been, I have to go do it at some point, because Burb... Yes, you have to. Just kind of, like, that's just part of the <laughs> territory I've landed myself in. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. What are some ones that I picked up? Oh, uh, Cinderella. That was like Cinderella Phenomenon. Phenomenon yeah. But... Yep. That one I we still might want to look into that one because that one's kind of old and it has some. I do have it so in my library, but yeah, I'll look into it further because it's free. It is free, which mm -hmm. is a big plus. But it does have like some problematic ways they handle characters. Yeah, I guess a date with death is an O to me, but I already played that. You should play that too. It's a lot of fun. I've I've seen people play it. Um, I probably will at some point. One second, let me go put it on my thing. Oh yeah, I'm because really you're just that's also an O to me. Because really you're just it. like oh it's free. Okay, that makes sense. Because mm -hmm. really what you're doing is you're just trying to embarrass this twink until you tells you that he loves you. <laughs> I mean, you can play it that way, but you don't have to. <laughs> I think I think what a date with death is really good at it is that you can play it any number of ways. It's not meant to be like a relationship quote unquote game. It's meant to be like, hey, how would you interact with the personification of death? Do you completely ignore him? Do you get it? Do you piss him off or do you try to make him fall for you? And I just bullied him. That's my love language. <laughs> That's how I played Steam it. Steam Prison? Yeah, that... I just saw it. Because I just looked up the Otome. Ooh. There are two kinds of people. The rulers and the rule. The heights are the gorgeous utopia. The depths of filthy industrial wasteland. Our heroine raised in the heights has nothing but content for those below. Ah, I see. The art's pretty. Yeah, the art is very pretty. I'll consider it chucked to my wish list. It is added to mine already. But um, I do actually have access to another Otome. It's Amnesia Memories. That's in... Oh, good. Oh, when you said Amnesia, I was like, The Dark Descent? Nope. <laughs> Oh, wait, we talked about Amnesia before. Yeah. I think I put it on my wish list. It's a little fucked up, but it, that's okay. I actually don't know a whole hell of a lot of it, but, like, there was, like, an anime for it that was, like, pretty much just, hey, uh, here's this game, basically, to buy it. Um, yeah. So, like, I really liked how they did the anime, actually, because, like, the way, like, the game is, is, like, having a loop on a specific day type of thing. So, like, the anime worked with that to, like, show little previews of each route, too, for the boys. 
So I did like that in the anime. But I've heard there's some oh, really not okay. so good stuff about it, like being I in found, a cage. I found the raw amnesia. This one looks like it's like crazy not great. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the right amnesia. It's like anime voice. Yeah. Affection, trust, suspicion. Yeah, that the anime voice is probably the correct one, yes. I'm Orion. I'm a spirit from a distant world. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this looks like the right one. <laughs> <laughs> you choose the from five romantic paths, each in its own world. Wow, that sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a note to me, all right. Yep. Oh, uh, let's see. Was there anything in my visual novels? Oh, Aviary Attorney. That's not an Otome, oh, yeah. but that's like one I've been recommended and saw yeah. playthroughs for it. I'm like, ooh, I just need, need to go find like another bird or something. Yes. Because <laughs> I feel like that's a two pl that's a two player one right there. Yeah. Of course, I have like the free Steam one, Carpe Diem. That's not any good. Mm. Okay, so these are just visual novels. These aren't Otome games. <laughs> I just kind of looked up a ton of them. But like, Paranormal Sight. Mm. <gasps> Saki, have you heard about Phoenix Wright AC Attorney? <laughs> no, never. What is that? Well, it's this fun visual novel game that was originally made for the Game Boy, but they uh, made a remaster for the PC because it's a very beloved video game series by fans. Hmm. And then they made the, the, the second game, the second trilogy of games, also available for fans now too. <laughs> Crazy, <laughs> so unheard of. Must be pretty niche. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'll hear about it every Christmas. Yeah. Or should I say every almost Christmas? Yep, yeah, it was almost Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, my visual novels are really small. It's like AI Somnia, Ivy Attorney, Cinderella Phenomenon, Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, Paranormal Sight, Ace Attorney, Refined Self, which is technically not a visual novel, but it's here somehow. And then the Zero Escape games and something that I played a while back, which is Tyrion Cuthbert, Attorney of the Arcane. I have a lot of visual novels. Granted, this is also my combined library with PG, but I have a lot. Ooh, any good recommendations I should put on my wish list? The Science Adventure series. I said recommendations, not entire third of my next three <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, any of Look. them in there would be good, because they do pretty good standalone as well. Yeah. I, I just see how long it's taking you to get through that series. I'm like, holy shit, this, these are long ass games. Yup. We're still going through it, and probably we'll keep going through oh it. Oh my god. Yeah, because. Forgive me if I haven't been caught up on like the latest, but it's like robotics notes right now. We're on the side of the game. Oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So it's so it's not robotics notes. It's the side game that's attached to that universe. Yeah, because there's Robotics Notes Elite, which is the remastered version of Robotics Notes that's available on Steam. And there's Robotics Notes. Okay, that Notes explains a lot. Dash, that's the side game, yeah. Because I was like, man, this Robotic Note sh thing goes on for a long time. <laughs> but now, now it's like two separate games, makes much more sense. Yeah, and we're already getting endings in Dash, so. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Gonna be starting. I guess today's stream because it's midnight now. Um, a little bit earlier so we can actually finish the route that we were working on yesterday because, not yesterday, last week because I was so tired last week. So just like I didn't have it in me to finish it, but we're definitely close. So that'll be fun.
Man, I go to Steam's feature page and I'm like, man, I've seen streams for all these games this week. No, oh, Neptunio's coming up for visual and all those tag search. Interesting. I mean, kind of. It has that same like visual novel style for some parts. Yeah, for like the actual storytelling, yes. However, for the actual storytelling, but like that's just how JRPGs are. <laughs> yeah, like it's not a visual novel just because it tells a story. Yeah, like if you watch my YouTube videos, you probably think it's a visual novel because I cut out the gameplay. But <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, like, visual novels, the story is the game, mm -hmm. and how you interact with the story is the game. I guess Persona is also here, too. <laughs> is this a JRPG, guys? It's a JRPG! Get your fucking heads out of the gutter here! Like... Needy Steamer Overload also is here for the visual novel tag, which, like... No? It's more simulation game, but... Yeah. Pop off, I guess? I don't know. Like, I like it, but, like, uh, it's not a visual novel. It's a... Yeah, I would say it's more of a simulation game. Yeah, a manager game, too, because you gotta manage the stuffs. Yeah, one second. Let me look through the visual novel tag. See if there's anything fun here. First thing, crush, crush. First thing I see, <laughs> sexual content and nudity. Great. Yeah, I do have that on my Steam library just because it's free, but like I've never actually played it. <laughs> library of Ruina? No. <laughs> no. It's not a visual novel. <laughs> I actually need to see if I have Library of Ruina in my. Like a lot of these are just here because they're they're games that tell a story. That is it. Yeah. Like I said, like I said before, visual novel means that the the actual story and how you interact with the story is part of the gameplay. Yeah, like the gameplay is usually that there is no gameplay. Maybe some puzzles. You can still have like a mini game here and there, or like yeah. a way. Like I feel like you, I feel like you would really like the Corpse Party Book of Shadows. Mm. Which is the second game in the Corpse Party yeah. series. Because it's a it's a visual novel that interacts with the story in very interesting ways. But that also means you probably have to play Corpse Party 1. So. I mean, I do want to play the remastered one specifically. The one that came out yeah. in 2021. But I don't... I, I forget. Do you have any... Like past experience with Course Party, or just I've watched Let's Plays of it forever ago, okay. but like I haven't ever actually played them myself. Got it. Mm -hmm. There's also like uh, this new one that's currently have a demo called Save the Villainous, mm -hmm. which I've seen some people play, and it looks like it's really good. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on it. An Otome Isekai role playing game. All right, that's quite the. I don't. But you're like also investigating stuff. I will. It's hard to explain. Just play it. Play the demo. It's fine. I'll chuck that to the library because I'll have to see if it even works because Windows. And then there's one that I've seen get some hype on Twitter for some reason called Hookah Haze. But. Oh, I see. I haven't looked into it too much besides that people like it. The art's pretty. The art is very pretty, but it's also like uh let's see. Yeah, it's it's about like hookah bars and stuff. So Yeah. Oh, but I saw something that you cannot show on Twitter or on Twitch. Yeah, on Twitter slash Twitch, so there might be a streamer be. mode, but if not, oh no, a Discord only stream. I haven't done that before. I have. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Actually, one of the sub goals for uh, Subathon is Dramatical Murder. <laughs> what? Dramatical Murder? What's that? Uh, <laughs> Google it. I'm not explaining that. It's not allowed on Twitch. It is like by name not oh, allowed on okay. twitch <laughs> got it got it but... i look it up on steam <laughs> your relix does not know it's okay it's... 
Yeah. Uh, okay, sexual content, see it. Mm -hmm. Romance, got it. That's all I need to see to know what's going on here. It's gay. It's gay? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> End the wish list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if we do get to that, um, goal of attack, honestly. Yo, this is probably, this is probably not a great thing to look up because I currently have mine set up to show adult games because, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Sometimes it's fun to see what random concepts people come up with. <laughs> yeah. A, a lot of them are just kind of boring, though. Yeah, that's fair. Like, a lot of them are just using, like, the same 3D models. Hmm. Alright, is there something here? I found a game that can summon with girlfriends take on the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> but that's an action RPG game, not a visual level. I see. Oh, uh, did I mention they were samurais? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Oh, uh, you know what's really surprising me? That SAO is still getting new games. I'm not entirely surprised, to be honest. It's just one of those titles that'll never die, I think. Yeah, but I played, like, the games. The first one's okay, but then you remember that it's a mobile game. <laughs> uh, I haven't played that. And it makes the games. mobile game part feel very mobile gamey. <laughs> That's fair. To be fair, and the actual interesting part, they technically consider that side content, but it has its own storyline. So it's like, mm. what? <laughs> interesting. My only real interaction with Sword Art Online is watching the first episode. I didn't watch more than that just because I was so bored while watching the first episode. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. The first episode showed a lot of promise for the series, and if you didn't like it, then you would not like the rest of the series. Yeah. Because it went really downhill really fast after that. <laughs> <laughs> if, you want to inter if you want to interface with SAO in a fun way, just watch The Abridge. Yeah, that's fair. Because it's basically the same plot. <laughs> <laughs> but actually palatable, because they skip over a lot of bullshit. We. Like, I watched SAO, and I watched a little bit into when they got into the Elf... Was it Elfheim Online? Something like that? No. Elfheim? The second game, basically? Mm-hmm. And it's just, like, it's nothing special. Which is really sad, because it, like, had a good premise, but then, like, its premise has been done before by, like, stuff like Log Horizon. Mm-hmm. And like other good animes that have done it better. So it's like. Eventually it just boils down to harem anime with anime boy who cannot <laughs> lose. But then, like, to beat the final guy, he has to lose. It's like, what the fuck? I see. Your Microsoft natural ergonomic keyboard for 12 fucking years. Oh man, I watched the first two seasons of SAO late ages ago. Yeah, it didn't get much better than that, because then they go into like... And then they just start hopping into other games. Apparently the manga is okay. Hmm. Quote unquote. So like, if you're gonna interact with SAO, the manga is apparently a good place to do it. I will admit, I like progression, but that was because it focused more on Asuna. Mm. And Kirito is just kind of a bumbling idiot in that one. Mm -hmm. Not not maliciously, though, but like, yeah. the SAO definitely portrays Kir Kirito as being a badass and being the coolest guy ever. And then like progression just kind of makes him a regular guy, mm -hmm. which is really good for his character. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, like the the Alfheim Online stuff, the aesthetics are really good, but the story is just Kirito goes finds Asuna because mm -hmm. she's been trapped in that video game world by taking her data outside of the world that they were trapped in. I see. For a better part of like three years or something like that. Super boring. Because, like, they could have explored the world, the second world, a bit more, but it really just boiled down to, oh, you just do everything that you need to do to go find this one girl, and that's it. You don't interact with the story at all. Apparently, the light novel is supposed to be actually good. I saw TikTok detail how the anime apparently gutted the story. Yeah, exactly. Including Kurito's backstory, character motivations, parallels with the villains. You know, the unimportant stuff. Yeah, exactly. The manga is at a good spot for SAO. The problem is that the anime didn't have time to cover it. And then it just kind of got boring. I think I'm done. Streaming. Anyway, I'm tired. Yeah, we were looking at stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.